In today's video, I am putting a theory to the test. Are these the best golf clubs money can buy from the world-renowned wholesaler Costco? Guys, I have a huge mishmash of golf clubs that are on offer from Costco. We have the Kirkland Wedges, we have the Kirkland Putter, we have the Cobra XL Speed 10P set. Guys, get in the comments below, what do you think the best golf clubs Costco make are? I've also got the McGregors at home. They were a little bit naff, I'm not even gonna try them, but this is a little bit of a warm-up video because tomorrow I'm heading out on a road trip with a few special friends and special guests to see if we can potentially win, that's right, win a European tour event using um, golf clubs from Costco. I forgot how good this thing actually looks. He's all going in. Hmm. You see guys, I'm a huge fan of saving money and still getting good quality golf clubs. Could this well be the answer by having a bit of a mishmash set from Costco. The only way to find out is to go and play. That doesn't look bad as a set, does it? I must say, yes. Right, first up we have the Cobra King XL driver speed. It's not even the King version, it's just, just a Cobra XL speed. It's 10 and a half degrees, it's a regular shaft. That's one of the only real things that really lets these sets down. You can't choose but I must say, if we can hit it like that off the tee, we might well be on to something. Oh yes. So guys, I'm well aware there's also now a Callaway set, Callaway Edge, available at Costco. Get in the comments, let me know if you'd like me to buy that and test it against these. Although I must admit, for me, I think it defies the whole point because they're so expensive. They're almost 700 pounds. You can do a lot better than a Costco set for that, even if it does have the Callaway logo on it. The Cobra set, was 399 the putter sorry i had to interrupt myself then because i've got so lucky that that drive has not finished in these fairway bunkers up on the right hand side we have around 160 170 yards in uphill into the wind when i tested these irons i actually did quite enjoy them the big cavity back irons really really forgiving they don't feel fantastic there's obviously not a lot of technology or tlc gone into these but they're not a bad shaft actually, although they're regular, they actually feel quite nice. And a big part of this is being able to kind of control trajectory as well. If you can go to Costco, pick up a set for 400 pounds and control that trajectory, then you're generally doing okay. The wedges and putter obviously add to this set, but the wedges and putter that came in the Cobra set was a little bit naff, I didn't really like them. Right, bit, bit of offset, thick top line. I've struck that so well. It's up the right hand side again. Is it flag high? It's just short right. Good strike though. Guys, I can't wait to show you the special guests who I'm going to be taking on this challenge with. There's going to be an 18 hole video seeing if we can bring home some glory at a DP World Tour event with the stands up and the course set to uh, difficult. So like an idiot, I thought I'd do it with a set of clubs that you can buy next to the ketchup and the loo roll. Because why not? more fun so very similar results with the iron as to the drive a little bit short than i would expect and a little bit to the right could that be down to the shaft it certainly isn't down to the club design or the offset because that should send it left these however are absolutely brilliant golf clubs for the money i think they're absolutely fantastic you would pay pretty much the same amount for one titleist wedge callaway wedge or mizuno wedge and you get three kirkland wedges for the same price together with the milled face technology they've actually released a kirkland signature 2 which i can't wait to get my hands on because these things are absolutely brilliant amazing how all this started with a kirkland golf ball as well and then costco obviously realized you know what golf is obviously like saving money and still like good quality products come on let's chip in for a birdie the bounce on these was phenomenal. Oh, that's exactly where I wanted it. Too much spin. Too much spin with the Kirkland wedge. Wow, not sure that's ever been said before. Now, when it comes to the putter, I'm actually quite surprised that Kirkland haven't released a KS2. Obviously, the KS1 is the Kirkland signature putter, KS1 Kirkland signature one. But I'm really surprised they haven't released like a Las Vegas version, a number seven version, a Fang version, a good, good version, because this is honestly really good. There was actually a rumor that Odyssey, Callaway even, had something to do with the design of this. So we have 
true line technology we have weight in in the toe and heel we actually have a super stroke grip which is awesome none of that counts if you don't make the par puts almost like a wide neck or a wide head oh, it's delightful it's delightful that's level par still after one hole and this is sort of what i'm hoping for tomorrow i'd love to tell you where it is but i'm not going to tell you guys make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see it I'm sort of hoping that we just dovetail it. We're going to play a bit of a Texas scramble. And the reason why I've put these wedges and putter in is so, to be honest, we can sort of save ourselves, try and make some birdies and rescue some pars. Should we hit bad shots with the irons? Not that it's the iron's fault or the driver's fault. Right, okay, par three. We've got 169 yards, stroke index 17. It's a lovely flag position, actually, for a hole in one. That would be some story, wouldn't it, with potentially the best golf clubs Costco do sell. Can the Callaways be much better than these for the price? This is a 10 piece set. The only thing you really don't get is a golf bag with them, which is a little bit of a letdown. Because if you go and buy a 10 piece set, really you want a golf bag and you just want to kind of plug and go, don't you? Maybe throw some balls in there as well, charge another 20 or 30 quid, and you'd be away. Nice fade in there. Let's aim for the left side. We've missed most of them right, probably down to the shaft, being a bit flexible and not releasing the club properly. shanked that that was not very good oof James and I must admit I'd love to see the day when Costco do release more kind of players iron these are massively kind of targeted towards beginners people who maybe haven't played golf before and just go and pick them up when they do buy the loo roll the shampoo the head and shoulders and everything else right we've gotten away with that certainly not the best strike and uh, sorry I said the word it should just be unmentionable shouldn't it that <sighs> let's bring the wedges back out Right, 60 this time, lots of bounce on this. Probably don't need this club, but try and get this fairly close. Mop up for another par. I'll go on release. Release. These are so good. I can't wait to test the version twos, because that, I mean, for the price, come on. Another testing one you don't really want. You want these for birdie, not for par. Right, this is the real test. We have a par five coming up. Can we boom driver down there and then test out this three wood or hybrid? See if maybe that can work for us as well. Hmm. The head covers aren't the best either, I must admit. First port of call, big dog. See if we can get this draw in instead of that horrible fade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, T's gone, but we don't care. Position A. And that's what I do find with this driver. If you just kind of take it back a little bit try not to smash the dimples off the ball you can keep it in play you're never going to carry it to 70 to 80 like i would a kind of modern day paradigm stealth 2 or g430 but it's in play uh, and for the same price as a paradigm stealth 2 or a g430 you get the set logic i like it and you know what guys i must admit i kind of stood on that tee with no real pressure and this is down there. Like, don't get me wrong, it's downwind, I think, today. But this is, I mean, any further, and we're running out of fairway, and there's no way I would have hit a three wood off this tee today. That is absolutely position A, and the green is just down where we can see that other fellow wearing the pink shirt. It must be pink shirt day today. Although he's got his arms folded, he doesn't look very happy that I've jumped in behind him. But do we go five hybrid? Do we go three wood? I think we can get there. It's got to be three wood, it's got to be. In fact, I'm not so sure. It's downhill, it's downwind, it's a little bit bouncy. So the three wood is probably one of the better clubs in this set. This for me is probably worth 150, 200 pounds by itself. It's very similar to the standard Cobra three woods that you do see. It sits really, really nicely. I love that really thick back edge. I love how shiny it is on top. You can see me in the reflection there. Unfortunately, I think the play here is actually the hybrid, which doesn't look as good. It's 23 degrees and no adjustability as you would imagine. But again, for the price, it's sort of doing everything I would want it to do. This may finish short, but the way we're chipping and putting, we just want to try and make birdie and get under par. We're not going to be greedy. We'll save that for tomorrow. I can't wait for you to see that video. It's going to be absolutely epic. Come on. All of a sudden, this feels really short. I ripped it though. 
I ripped it, it's a little bit left, it's nowhere near the green, but that is down there. Oh, yes. These clubs certainly do pass that audio test, that feedback test, that how good do they feel test. Now do they pass that under par test through a par four, par three, par five here at Woolley Park Golf Club, ready for the British Masters tomorrow. Oh, if this buggy had a horn, I'd beep it, but it doesn't, it just has that. Okay, not as easy a leave as I would have maybe liked. Um, we're gonna have to, we have to play a bit of a bump and run actually. I'm gonna go 56 again here. It probably was three wood in all honesty. We'll do well to get this close. We're gonna have to rely on holing potentially 20 or 30 footer. That is a bad miss. That's flown a lot further than I wanted it to. But it's inside 20 feet. We'll take it. Guys, it all comes down to this putt. Can we shoot under par? Right, it comes down to this. One of the things I really like about this putter is just that it's a little bit wider. Could be kind of Scotty Cameron-esque and feels quite nice as well. We're two for two, albeit they were par putts. This is for a birdie. Just outside left. Get a nice roll, get a nice pace. Par's not end of the world, but... Birdie is always oh, better. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button. We are filming tomorrow at the British Masters course, the Belfry with the stands up. We have some very special guests. Can we, get ready for this, win the British Masters using golf clubs from Costco? I think we can as well. Thank you so much. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye. In 2022, Thorborg Ollison shot an opening round 66 here at the Belfry to secure the British Masters title. Today we are seeing if we can beat that feat, however there is a huge twist. We are using a set of golf clubs made up from the world's favourite wholesaler, Costco. Let's get straight to it.